like this. A little problem, woke up at 6.30, quarter to seven this morning, and our um, heater's not working. I just made a thing last night, didn't I, that the heat's on. Um, excuse the way I look. It is very cold in this house. It's only 48 degrees. It's still windy, and it's gonna be windy for a couple of days. And, um, yeah, it, uh, Pete had to reset the boiler this morning, so we're trying to wait for the house to warm up. It's now 20 to 8. <sighs> Still got my hair's all sticking up. I'm not going to be able to take a shower because it's not warming up very quick. Still 48 after 45 minutes. So, freezing, freezing. A coat on ready to go outside, but she's, <laughs> she ran away from Pete. The wind, with the wind chill today, they said it's like minus... Uh, minus 11 to 20 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit in our area. It's that cold. So this is typical for the heat to go out. Roxy, go see Pete. You go outside. You got your coat on already. You okay, Pete? Oh, he's been down in the basement again. Is it okay? Yeah, no, I guess you were changing, you were just doing the bed probably, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, I kept on hearing. Peanut butter and toast and another cup of coffee. Because although the heat's working now, it's uh, going to take a while to heat the house up, so I can't even shower for a while. Ooh. Oh, she's in bed, she missed it all. But anyway, I've just edited my vlog and I'll set it to upload. Just took the dogs out and you literally have to dress up. I have my big coat on, <laughs> zipped up to here, my gloves. Uh, I turn around, we've only been out a couple of minutes, I turn around and Louis is physically shaking. So he's back up here now on his bed with a nice clean sheet. Roxy's over here, she finally went. Um, we do have coats for them. Roxy will put hers on. Well, we put it on obviously. <laughs> Sue, let me go get my coat. Um, but Louis fights it every step of the way. He hates it. He won't walk in it or anything, so I got them in and out as quick as possible. At least they went to the bathroom. But it is brutal because the wind has not gone completely. We're only down to 25 mile an hour winds now. We've left the 50 mile an hour winds in yesterday. But the house is just starting to warm up properly. The heat, the... I dread how much oil it's going to go through today. Just trying to maintain the heat because it's still only saying 52 degrees downstairs. Ash is getting ready, she's just eating lunch and then she's leaving for work. And um, I'm going to hibernate up here, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to sit in bed actually because I'm cold and in a lot of pain. So, uh, and I didn't even shovel yesterday, I didn't, didn't do any of that stuff. So, that's what I'm going to do. Oh. Hey Ash, Dad did call when he left for work, he said... Go the long way to work, down by the two schools. He said, don't even try anything with a slight hill because the ice. Okay. You know if you, you know when you usually make that first ride at the top here? He said, go down by the schools and go that way. Okay. Um, yeah, he was saying this morning, like, uh, we're at the top of the hill on our street, but it was really icy down the bottom part and people were struggling. But she usually goes down and then down a hill, and he's not even advising her to do that. But hopefully the salters will be out again. I'm sure they're out picking up garbage and stuff today. These poor guys worked a lot, a lot last night. Um, I heard them come around here probably <coughs> about 10:30, 11 o'clock, putting salt and plowing the streets and stuff. It's a lot of work for them. <sighs> anyway. I'm going to sit now for a bit and chill out. <laughs> chill out. There's nothing else you can do. I'll probably be stifling in about an hour or two because I've got tank top, long sleeve shirt, and then a sweater on top. But that's okay. And big woolly sock. But you need it. I just feel bad for anyone up in the Buffalo area. New York is such a humongous state. They get feet and feet and feet upon feet of snow up there. Very cold for them. But I'm rambling, aren't I? I'm not going to talk about the snow all day today because I edited yesterday's vlog and I'm like, oops, snow report, <laughs> weather report. Oh well, it's life.
We're not a fan of this weather, are we? Hey? We're not a fan. Anyway, yes, I've been sitting here for the last... Oh, I don't even want to say how many hours. But the house is very, very cold. Ashley's room is not getting any heat at all. So Pete left work early. He finished what he had to do. <coughs> got home around 3. And he's got her radiators pulled apart. And then he went over to Home Depot to go get some insulation. I don't know if I mentioned this this morning. But the water in the shower downstairs is not working. I don't know. I said maybe the the pipe froze. I don't know. But then would it affect all of them? It's just the one. It's just one thing after another. I have been battling this. Battling. Oh, it sounds so thing. But I have this nasty headache. And it's pain down into my shoulder. Um, my discs. I have a trap disc. And it's playing up. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. So I just figured this was my position. I have so many layers on it's not even funny. But I need to, I want to put PJs on in a minute because it's already quarter to six. So I'm just catching up on Big Brother now. Celebrity Big Brother. They're taking the guys in shortly. And um, I have no clue what we're having for dinner. That's pretty sad. I have no clue whatsoever. But yeah, I don't know what to do for dinner. Um, also been watching some vlogs, so that's good. Keeping up on some. Still got loads to watch. But yeah, I just wanted to say hello because I really haven't said much to you guys today, I don't feel. He's over there. Is that him? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, going to see who the fellas are they're putting in the house now and talk to you in a bit. So many things happened yesterday. Boston, Massachusetts. They just showed a fireman and he was at a fire and obviously, you know, the water sprays back, they're in... No, they didn't. They did not. Now, this I disagree with. Oops, sorry, Rox. Yeah, Pete saw a delivery guy on our street yesterday. I'm like, I, I wouldn't have the... Not the nerve, but I wouldn't want to call. What if something happened to them? I'd feel terrible. In Massachusetts, fighting a fire. And his whole hat was just ice, because you know where the water comes back at you. Couldn't believe it. It was an amazing picture. I don't know who took it. Kid wicked. Ash is bringing burgers home. I'm like, we, we don't have anything. I've had a look. She passes Wendy's on her way home, so she said she'd pick them up. Pete's downstairs still insulating the garage. Ashley's radiators are all pulled apart in her room, so her room is still freezing cold. So hopefully he'll uh, finish what he's doing. I thought he was just insulating the pipe, but I have a feeling he's doing the whole roof. It was something Pete's dad used to get on our case for. You need to insulate this room. Yeah, I know. But the room above it, nobody uses. Um, and when they do use it, it's usually in the summer, so it's fine. I'm a miserable so-and-so, aren't I? Okay, we ate. We ate. Pete shows me his phone. I'm like, what? I thought he was showing me a text. While he was insulating the garage, he dropped his phone. Smashed the whole screen. Pete doesn't like buying new phones. He just wants his phone to make calls, text and check his emails. His work emails. I normally text me, Ash, and his work people. He thinks all these phones with all these fads are crazy. Meanwhile, Ash and I love it. So Ash and I always renew our phones when our contracts are up. And then Pete takes one of ours. <laughs> so he had the 6S because our 6 Pluses we sent back to the company when we got our 7 Pluses. So he didn't want the big phone anyway. He said it was too big. So he had Ashley's and he had mine, six S's, both in gold. <laughs> so he used one and he sticks it in his pocket, sits on it, never puts a case on it. We keep telling him, you need a case, you need a case. He's very clumsy with his phones. I remember when he was taking pictures of them when they first came out for a company, he dropped one and he dropped an Apple Watch too. <laughs> He's not really clumsy, but it just when he breaks something, he breaks it good. So I said, well, you know, the other one, 
The other one had a like not a chip in it, but he had a little crack in it, and it was a little bent because he kept sticking it in his pocket, and then he sits on it. So now he's trying to. The reason he switched from the one success to the other success was because the battery was terrible. And I said, well, can't you take the battery out of this phone and just put it in that one? He goes, no, it doesn't work like that. I guess it doesn't work like that. I don't know. So he's he backed up his phone yesterday. He was trying to just back it up again. It said he couldn't. So then he was trying to do something else. Then he said, well, let me just make an appointment to go into Apple tomorrow get it taken care of, buy a new battery. He said the batteries are now like 29 bucks, something stupid. And it said they can't get an appointment till Friday, next Friday. He's like, <laughs> uh. So then he put in, we'll have one of the guys call you. So the phone just rang right away. So he's now on the phone with them. So I quickly exited, <laughs> exit stage left and got out of there because you don't want to be down there if he's going to get sarcastic with the guy in the mood he's in right now he could get very sarcastic anyway the house still is not up to its proper temperature the house has finally gone up to 58 degrees we started the day on 48 so it's only gone up 10 degrees in 12 and a half hours that's not good that just proves how cold it is outside so pete's got ashley's radiator apart still so she's downstairs with a snuggie on and a blanket around her She's doing stuff on her phone. She wants to take a bath. <sighs> but I'm like, wait till your room's warm before you take a bath. And then, because you don't want to get out of a bath and then go into a cold room. What? <laughs> what a day, Roxy. What a day. So I have retreated up here now because I'm going to go to watch BB Bots and see what went on in the after show. See if Barbara or Trace are in the audience tonight. Barbara was in twice already, so I've gotten to see her. Right, Rox? But I'm glad now they've thrown some men in the house. Let's shake it up a little bit and see what happens. Don't know half the people that have got in, to be honest, because we don't get Love Island over here. Or I've never seen it if we do. And I do know Genuine, or Jan, I call him Genuine, but I guess his name is Genuine. Genu, genuine, the rapper, the pony song, whatever it was. Um, <laughs> what was that, Pony Ride? I'm just tired and now I'm just going on about nothing so i'm going to let me leave you sorry about today's vlog it is just a moany vlog because it's just one thing after another just keeps going a little wrong but anyway guys i hope you've all had a brilliant brilliant friday whatever you did today i hope it was a good one and definitely better than mine and we will see you tomorrow good night guys